What's up guys, I'm coming to you today with another bluegrass flat picking lick, this time from Brian Sutton. Brian Sutton is one of the greatest flat pickers and honestly one of the greatest guitarists of all time. And he's definitely someone you can learn a lot from. Now I got this lick from one of his versions of Texas Gales that he played probably 20 years ago in a live performance. It's on YouTube. And I transcribed this lick because I just loved it. It's a descending lick in C. So we're playing it over the C major chord position in the C major scale. It starts way high up on the register and it descends all the way down to the root note on the third fret A string. It ends up landing right on what would be a C major chord shape. So that kind of helps for, you know, you can use this in the middle of a solo or you can use this at the beginning of a solo. So let's say you're taking a solo in the C major scale and you want to throw this lick in the middle or at the end or at the beginning, it lends itself really well to that because it starts on the high register and it kind of ends in the open C chord position. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. Okay, let's take a look at this Brian Sutton lick. So we're playing this with a pickup, a two note pickup coming out of the first measure. And this two, this two note pickup, which is fifth fret high E to third fret high E. It's really important that we play that as a pickup because it really defines the timing and the feel of this lick. So we play that two note pickup. And then with our middle finger and our ring finger, we're gonna play a little bit of a chromatic run here out of the C position, so we're going to 4th fret B to 5th fret B. And when I play that, I like to anchor my index finger down on the 3rd fret high E. Because then we're going back up to the 3rd fret high E. Right there, we're going to the third fret B with our index finger. And then right here, we're actually gonna go all the way down to the first fret B. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my index finger and I'm sliding it down three frets to the first fret B. And then we're gonna start another run here which involves the open high E string. And you can see we're playing this out of the C major chord position. Okay, let's play measure number one now to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, and that brings us into measure number two. Okay, when we look at measure number two now of this Brian Sutton lick, we're kind of continuing this descending line over the C major scale. So when we look at measure number one, I'm doing a lot of anchoring with my index finger. And then when we come down here, I'm anchoring here with my index finger. And really when I say anchoring, what I mean is I'm just kind of holding my index finger there as I play the, the lick with the rest of my fingers. And then we play that downstroke on that first fret B, and that's the beginning of measure number two. And then you're gonna see a pull off there from the second fret G to open G.
Okay, so we're just kind of doing a little bit of a pull off with our middle finger there. So again, we're anchoring with our index finger on that first fret B. Right here, this is actually the toughest move of the lick when we go to that first fret D pull off, right? So we're, we're doing that with our index finger. So we're anchoring here. And then we're going to take our index finger, we're going to go to that first fret D. And we're going to finish that C scale right there. Okay, let's play measure number two now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. 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 